Well, this movie I'm on right now is still late. Anyway, um, hey guys, me and oh, Tim Sorgan, and I'm going to review Just to Be the Fighting Paradox, the 2015 anime movie that came out 2015. Yes, I know I'm late. Yes, I, yes, I wanted to read the movie when, when this movie came out years ago. But I got sidelined. I just got the you know, other products to go with. So, let's get started. In honor of the budget coming out, well, it did come out, um, I started to review this movie with Batman issue 22, I think. Let's get started. Um, fight the future. We all wish we had a chance to go back in time and change things. And for the Flash, that chance is within a week. As a boy, Barry Allen had, had his life torn apart what, what, when his mother was a victim of a violent crime, but now using his power at super speed, comma, um, he will traverse time to change that fateful day. His intentions are good! Unfortunately, in changing the past had major repercussions. What are, what are the repercussions? Well, it proved disastrous. At a fractured, alternate, twisted reality where even Superman is nowhere, nowhere to be found. The Flash is trusted wisdom of Batman, only to find a greater, more violent Dark Knight. Time to win, Batman. Um, the Flash and Batman, with the help of Cyborg, are great to restore the original timeline, while the alternate world is allowed by fierce war between Wonder Woman and Aquaman. What's that asking of some voice guys? Can we call it? Danny Daly, Boy Mosha Vision, and I'm a boy, I'll take the Z. I'm That's what the point of show. Okay, now going into this movie, right? when this movie came out 2015, I was excited a lot because I, because I, I actually love, love the flat. If I don't want to pretend for the kids, great, I go with one, Red Flash and Billy Adam Flash, but whatever. Um, and after we watched this movie again for the, I don't know how many times, um, for the conclusion. I like this movie. This movie is very underrated and does not deserve the hate. No, I'm serious. Like, it's really good. Oh, we'll talk about the cast, shall we? Um, Kevin Conley, Batman, he's good as always. Um, we have Ju Justin Jimmy as um, The Flash. I think he plays him. Um, he has to be really good. And I mean, and he's even one of the best roles. I like him at The Flash. He's awesome. Um, we have C. Thomas Howell. I think he plays, I think he plays Batman. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think, he was, I think he's great. Uh, he's great at, t at Tommy Quinn Batman. Kevin Conn is in this, but only for brief cameo. Right in the beginning and in the end. Yeah, I'm going to spoil it, but you know, this movie's old. It's not that long. Oh! Also, also this movie does contain an after credit scene. So, if you want to check that out, you can, but it's not really worth it. Trust me, I've seen the after credit scene. It better get a prequel to the Jeffrey War. Which are the sequels of this, this movie? There we go. What are you talking about? Um, who fought Wonder Woman? Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't say. Um, who fought Wonder Woman? This is great. Um, the guy who fought Aquaman, um, like, he's awesome. Like, he's perfect. Like, holy oh, shit. Like, when you get to see him in Aquaman, he's very fluid and awesome. If I put Wonder Woman and Aquaman when they go to war, it's very brutal. Anyway, um, what's our animation going suck? Okay, the animation is actually is really good. It, granted, it, it's not, not aged like all the anim animation style does, but you know what? It's a good animation style, and the animation is really good. It may not be perfect, but you know what? It, it, it's a good anime movie, right? Animation is not like, it's not a bit of the, like, perfection. It's still great, the acting's great, the story is insane, and the characters are great. Animation's fine. Um, as for the story itself, as you well know, this, this movie is based off of Flashpoint, the same Flashpoint that now I did God in New 52, and that reflected the anime movies, unfortunately, and as an adaptation of Flashpoint, I think this movie is really good, it adapts the story correctly. Well, it doesn't go into the tie-ins. Obviously, we can tie-in them. I mean, a, a very, very convenient. Um, it's still, it's still, it's still has the structure on the main story intact. That's why, like the movie, it keeps the main story intact and then deviate from other, other, other subplots. Actually, it's, actually, there's a subplot, but it actually keeps the, the focus on Flash and Batman. Tom, where Batman? Um, what the hell? 
Speaking of actually, uh, 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 Batman, actually, let's talk Flashpoint Batman for a sec. Flashpoint Batman, my opinion, in this movie is awesome. You get, holy shit, he's brutal oil, right? And he, yeah, he's Thomas Wayne Batman, you know what? In this movie, you get to see him kick ass. It's awesome. I'm hoping for Rebirth, I'm hoping for DC, DC, DC MNK, that Rebirth story, because if, if we get Flashpoint Batman and Batman and Bruce Wayne Batman to talk to each other, like in the burning going on right now, that'd be amazing. Anywho, what to talk about? What happens good? The story good? The writing good? Um, most of the stuff is good. What to talk about? Oh, uh, speaking of the at the uh, with that, uh, that the uh, cameo from How Jordan, um, forced by them. It doesn't say. Wood, 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 wood fly on fire fly actor. I forgive. Yeah, yeah. Nate Payne. Nate Payne actually is in the in the Jerry Evoy how Jordan, and his voice is awesome. Had a cameo. Yeah, that's one thing I have to remember. That some of the you get to see you can see all of them. Oh, speak out. Actually, uh, this movie is we actually also adapt particularly another story with um, Gripter and the Warstorm characters, which pretty cool. Great. I don't know any of a Warstorm. At all. I never read Wild Storm, but you know what? It's pretty good to see those characters. I don't want to talk about. Add, add for the violence itself. Okay, this, mo okay, this movie has to maybe read P15, but it is violence all hell. Like, holy shit. Like, there's some stuff in it. We like, wait, like, we could show you how close that Aquaman is. Aquaman is this movie the best, and also, my sin down there is very brutal. So, it's one of them. That book is a book in the this, in this story. Anywho, what to talk about? Um, anyways, and it's gonna seem like it's good, the story's good. It's really not a talk about. I don't want to get too much spoilers, I don't do that. So, anyways. Oh, uh, one, one negative I have about this movie is that it is short, right? That's one of the drawbacks to do the anime movie, is that they're way too short. Like, um, now, this movie was in 2015, and the runtime is 81 minutes. 81 minutes to tell this type of story is not that much. Granted, that's what all the day in movies. They get shorter and shorter, which is kind of annoying. But no way, it still keeps the story intact. Anywho, um, I want to talk about. I think that by the way, I'm going to do a sports argument reading. Um, okay. Final thought on Judge Agree the Fireman Paradox. Joy like when you pick up this movie. Is your is your Forest fan? I say yes because this movie is really good. And it's your fan but you got an actual comic, I say pick this up. Because it does adapt the story correctly and might be actually it's far better than the TV show version of Flashpoint. Which look, I I, I like the Flash TV show, but they done a flashpoint was such a disappointment. <laughs> Like, that was a, that was a way to draw a scene to it. But you know what? That's the TV show. But I, I think it's the movie. The movie's really good. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Now, do I recommend it? Did I make the sequels? Do I check the war? For Millennials and what's the sequels? Not really. I say avoid war. Don't pick up for Millennials. Um, do not pick up. Oh, okay. Check if it's in you can pick up. Right. That movie's okay. Um, but. Unfortunately, uh, this movie has to add after fact uh, in the end, because in the end, it's reflecting New 52. Because, as you want to know, uh, right now, there's this animation adapting New 52 story because of Black and Paradox. And, unfortunately, New 52 movies already got, uh, not been that great. Except for recently, it, it was just a good dog, which I do own. Um, which I'll show you that movie. Anyway, um. But. I personally think my DC anime should just go back to other stories. Like, like they did that have stories in the actual comics and just to those ones that trying to do the shared universe. Or it's, it's the animation. And that's why negative I have this movie is that it, it, it has to look up a really negative part of DC animation. Anywho, I'm gonna be reading them. Okay. I give Justin D. Fucking Pet, I don't know, please. A four out of five stars. Like I said, it's not perfect, but you know what, it's a great anime movie, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. The Flash Band, get this movie. 
Tell me, you're dating me right there. Just worry about it, then, alright, GTA, and we're going on it. Now we see me. Well, it's super Jeffrey Dark, but that's good. Anyway, um, that's my thoughts on Jeffrey the Fireman Paradox. Um, spoiler free as possible. Um, please comment on what you think about the movie. Do you like it? Do you rate it? Also, what's your favorite DC anime movie? Um, please comment on below. Also, I got 58 follow me on Twitter, and please leave a comment here. One more thing. Um, if you're a fan of Fast Five Batman, I highly recommend you pick up mini Italian miniseries. I also recommend you pick up the button. Trust me, the button is awesome. I look at you pick that one up. It's really good. It's a great crossover. With the back, here we go. That's my, that's my review. Um, please comment on what you watch the movie. Do I get to read? Also, I can me on Twitter and please just comment on my channel. Until then, peace out. Long and flashpoint. Well, see ya. Bye.